In this example, we're going to show you how you can use the program for now casting. Uh, now casting is basically just looking at what's going on right now in the atmosphere. There are several ways that you can do this with F5. You can look at warnings, you can look at radar, you can look at satellite. Uh, we're also going to cover how, uh, how to view hurricane information in here, which is uh, often an uh, interest in the summer and fall months. So the buttons that we're going to be talking about are right up here, right up in the, uh, the upper right portion of the menu bar. The first button that looks like a watch box is watches and warnings. You just click that button once, you'll see down here in the status bar it says downloading data. Once it has the data, it will render the graphic, and there are your watches uh, and warnings as well. You can zoom in on this, and as you zoom in, it will give you more detail. Uh, flash flood warning, flood warning, flood watch, severe thunderstorm warning. As you zoom out, you'll see some of those will disappear. Again, that's the clutter filter that keeps things from getting too out of hand on the map. So if you're not sure what something is, you just zoom in on it. Uh, likewise, a lot of these things are done by the county. And if you're not sure what counties are involved, you could just go up to your layers, turn on counties, and it shows you the counties. Now, if that's not enough information for you and you're still not sure if your county is involved, you can zoom in a little more you can turn on county names. Now I'm going to turn off watches and warnings and I do that just by pushing the button that I use to turn it on and that's this watches and warnings button up in the menu bar. I just press it once and it clears the map. The next one I'm going to show you is radar. This one right here says next ride radar it looks like a bunch of radar returns. Push that once it downloads and renders the graphic for you. Of course with everything you can zoom in on things pan around. You can overlay watches and warnings on top of that at the same time if you wanted. We're going to shut those two off and show you satellite. That's the next button to the right. It's a satellite imagery. And when you push it, you're going to be given options this time. You can do visible satellite, infrared satellite, or water vapor. Now, visible is only going to be available in the daytime. So right now I'm doing this at 10 p.m. at night, so I'm not going to be able to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to choose infrared. Just like with everything else in the menu bar, you press it once, you wait for it to download, status is in the status bar. Once it downloads, it will draw the graphic. And then you can zoom out. Now the satellite imagery is pretty large. Uh, if you zoom all the way out, you can see you can see well into the Atlantic, where hurricanes might get started, and well into the Pacific, all the way out to past Hawaii, and down to South America, and up into parts of Alaska. Now, if I zoom in on the southeast, you'll see this will make for a great hurricane tracking program because you can you can get the visible satellite, infrared satellite, water vapor, and you can look at it through the Caribbean. You got the the graphics for uh, all the islands out here and you can also turn on some hurricane features now when I'm making this video there's no tropical storms going on so I can only show you half of this uh, the half I can show you is the sea surface temperatures when I turn that on uh, it will download the latest sea surface temperature data and it will display that over the oceans now that displayed on top of my satellite so I'm going to shut satellite off. I'm going to turn it back on again because whatever your last graphic was that you turned on becomes the topmost layer. So now I can see that on top of the sea surface temperatures. The sea surface temperatures are actually worldwide uh, in F5. Let me shut off my satellite imagery here so you can see it better. And I'm just going to keep zooming out. And you can see you got them for the whole world. Now, if you were to plot the uh, spaghetti plots and tracks, that will show you uh, a composite of all the different computer models, as well as in the National Hurricane Center, showing the path and intensity of tropical storms, uh, their forecast. Uh, again, I don't have, there's no data out there right now because there's no tropical storms, but 
that will be uh, a very neat feature when the hurricane season comes around. Check the checkbox again to shut off the layer that you want, and you're set.